faith in Christ that trusts in him alone for righteousness. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is how gracious and how loving God is. I've heard many people say, especially when you preach against sin, they say, why, why is a loving God, why would he send people to hell? Or God loves everybody. My friend, how does God love? Sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. Can I give you a gospel track as well? My friend, I would say that... Um, well, let me give you two here. I know, I know, I know about the uh, the Mormon Church very well, and I, I've always I can I can say that I always admire you guys and your diligence and evangelism and going out. But the truth of the matter is, is that you and I believe in two different gospels and two different Christs, because you believe that Jesus Christ is a uh, spirit brother of Satan, right? Yes. But Christ has always existed. He is from eternal past. He is the the Son of God, God the Son. And so he's not Satan's spirit brother because he's not created. And so I would just say that. I appreciate your evangelism. Yeah, I care about you guys very much. And, and put put your faith in Christ, in the true, genuine Christ of the Bible, not in Joseph Smith. Put your faith in God's word, not in the word of man. Okay. God bless you guys. God bless you. Genuine faith in Christ is what's required. Not faith in a made-up God. Not faith in a God that doesn't exist. But faith in the God of the Bible. Many people have come and tried to distort the Word of God by adding to it. And my friends that just passed there who were members of the Mormon church they are a prime example of this. They have distorted the Word of God by adding to it what's called the Book of Mormon, which is the teachings of Joseph Smith, which declares that Jesus is not God. He's not from eternity past. He is the spirit brother of Satan. And this is an erroneous lie from the pit of hell. And so you must have your faith in the true, genuine Christ of the Bible. Because the Bible is the only Word of God. It's the only standard of truth. Many people have tried to bring down the validity of the Bible and say it was just written by men. It's outdated. My friend, the Bible has profound truths that you're, you're a product of right now and you might not even be aware of it. it our laws in our society and in many societies across the world are based in the moral truths that are found in God's Word. The Bible is the most reproduced book in the history of the world. It's been translated into nearly every single language on earth. It is the true and everlasting Word of God. People have been trying to get rid of the Bible for centuries and it remains here today and it always will it always will the more satan tries to put a stranglehold on the word of god the more the light of the word of god will shine through for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved you can be saved from the wrath of god by putting your faith in Christ and turning from your sin. This is what this, word, this verse means, calling upon the name of the Lord. You see, you can't call on somebody for real if you don't even believe in them. If you pick up your phone to call somebody, you make up a number to call, you don't know who's going to answer, if anybody, on the other line. But when you have genuine faith in Christ, you call upon Him for help. For my help comes from the Lord. I know where my help comes from. It comes from the Lord. I call upon Jesus to save. 